Fried wings, jerk chicken, oh my fried corns, gosh. and planting. I don't think I'm going to the gym, never mind. I ain't going to the gym because I'm supposed to go to the gym. I ain't going. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to a, another vlog. So today's a new day and I'm going to start a vlog again, back to the routine. So I am going to the gym. I do have a few little errands to run, so we're going to do that. I am going out on Saturday, so I need to try my outfit for Saturday. I decided just to wear like a jumpsuit, some silver heels and a silver bag, but I want to see how it actually looks all together. I did try the jumpsuit on already, but I didn't actually finalise the look. Um, I do have a bunch of clothes to try on. But I ain't gonna try and run in this vlog because that's actually for something upcoming so you guys will see it in the vlog closer to what I'm doing. Yeah, so I'm going out on Saturday so I'm trying to try on my outfit. I am going two places. I did want to wear two different outfits but to save time I'm going to wear one outfit and just be ready early. And I also want to film that makeup tutorial that I said I'll do in my last vlog that I didn't do. I want to film that on Saturday or Friday, I don't know. I don't know, but um, I need to plan out my time wisely so I'm not late to neither of the events that I'm going to. Anyways, it is currently 10.15 in the morning. It's quite early, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually up early, which is good. Praise God. I don't know if I'm going to go gym now or if I'm going to go just a little bit late. I don't really mind what time I go in the day. I used to be a person that always wanted to go early, but now... I've been waking up at like 9, 10, so I don't even be getting there at the early time. Like, I used to go to gym at like 6, 15, 7. But, yeah, I haven't been doing that lately. Anyways, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to go now or go a little later. I'm just going to decide that. I'm going to eat my breakfast and then I'm going to decide. I'm currently looking through my Pinterest board because I'm currently like planning a few outfits. And I feel like I've kind of drifted from my initial style, like sometimes like i've said before in it i'm just gonna keep this very brief but like i said before when you change up your style and stuff you have to change where you go and where i'm going doesn't fit my style like i'll be so out of place so i've had to like dim down my style or wear what people would usually wear to these places if that makes sense and I'm looking at my Pinterest board and I'm just upset because I want to wear what's on my Pinterest board. Like, I really want to wear these type of clothes, but where I go, these type of clothes don't fit in. Like, it doesn't even match the place, the aesthetic. It doesn't match what we're doing. Like, it just doesn't make sense. So, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's my problem. Like, for example, I really like this outfit, right? Like, I really, really like this outfit, but that doesn't give someone's birthday dinner, does it? Like, why would I wear this to someone's birthday dinner? This doesn't give that. Do you get it? So, yeah, I need to really think about this one. But, yeah, I'm just kind of looking for my Pinterest board. I literally have a long... Let me turn my brightness down. I literally have a long Pinterest board. And it's literally full. This one is um my lookbook. So, at the top, you can see it says lookbook. I have one that has all my outfits that I want to wear. The desired lookbook I want to have. um The type of way I want to dress. So, that's what I'm kind of looking through right now. I have one for everything. For my room, my home everything cars like i have one for everything anyways yeah so yeah that's what i'm currently doing cashel is here having her morning nap like she be sleeping and then wanting to like sleep again like this girl always tired i don't know like she be working some jobs we don't know about mm, maybe but yeah so good morning i do want to try a starbucks drink today but um the reason oh the reason i was a bit confused in my last vlog and i didn't want to try a drink or i didn't want to go starbucks is because i was trying to stop dairy i'm trying to cut out dairy like i'm gonna drink dairy like i'm gonna drink yogurts and da 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 but for a while i just want to cut down on the dairy and obviously you go to starbucks and they put milk in your drink depending on what drink you get of course but the drink i wanted to try was a latte so there's milk in there obviously oat milk obviously oat milk cashew milk and all these other milks are alternatives but yeah, um, yeah, so we don't really have much to do today. Um, ST Foodies is catering today. Um, my friend Shanice that catered at my birthday, she's doing like a £10 food uh, tray thing. So you guys will see that a lot later because you, you know I got one of them. You know I got one of them. There's macaroni in there though, so that is part of the dairy that I'm not trying to eat. But am I going to eat it? Yeah, duh. Uh, but yeah, so I need to try my outfit today finalize my outfit finalize the earrings i actually got some new earrings from sheen as well that i want to show you guys 
I need to go to the hair shop, get the ponytail. I had a ponytail last week. And to be honest, ponytails be lasting me a while. Like when I buy the little synthetic ones from the hair shop, they be lasting me. But the one I had last week did not last me. Like that only lasted like two days. I don't know what that was about, but it didn't last. So I'm about to go get another one today. Another ponytail. I kind of want to do curly in a way, but I really want to do straight. I don't know i guess we'll see also have a hello fresh delivery coming today so we're gonna see that on the vlog as well and i'm gonna cook a little meal i don't know i'm thinking to have shanice's food for dinner and then have hello fresh for lunch because i could do a little pasta and it's supposed to come in the next hour so that's kind of early which is perfect so should i run to the gym now quickly work out quickly go hair shop come back cook my lunch edit do what i need to do in my house try my outfits then later that sounds like a good plan it's giving go to the gym right now i want to take the camera let me see how much people's in the gym because when there's too much people i don't like to do that 50 people do you know that that's not a lot but it's a lot it depends where the 50 people is like if the 50 people's in the part i want to be oh no but if they're just scattered around then maybe that'd be cool but i kind of want to take my camera today I kind of want to take my camera today because yesterday I was watching Double C's YouTube video and she was in the gym and she had her camera up there doing the workouts like I kind of want to take my camera today like why not why not I'm a, I'm a C 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 but yeah so that's what I'm doing today not really doing much not really doing much I'm gonna say good morning welcome back to the vlog and let's get into to Days look. So this was the Hello Fresh parcel that I was talking. Uh, uh, someone kicked up my box. Excuse me. Anyway, so this was the Hello Fresh parcel that I was talking about. It's got three meals in it, so I might make one for lunch, and then I'll see what I'll make for tomorrow and the next day. But I do know today that I'm eating Shanice's food. I'm gonna keep talking about Shanice's food. If you've tasted ST Foodies, then you know why I'm like, oh, we gotta eat this today. But for lunch, I might actually make a little pasta and have that for dinner. I think that makes the most sense. But um, yeah, so I've decided that I'm gonna go to the hair shop first so I could get that out of the way because that's the furthest like task that I have to do. Go and collect the ponytail, come home. Then I think I might go to Starbucks and obviously I wanna try this new drink. And then I think I might edit in Starbucks because I have a bit of my other footage on my other vlog to edit. I got like probably like 30 minutes. I could really do that all in like 30, 40 minutes. And then I might go to the gym. I did just check the capacity of my gym and it was at 80. That's a lot. Like if you're a gym goer, that's a lot. That's giving the gym is full. Like the gym is full. People are right next to you. Like I ain't vlogging and someone's right here. Like obviously if people are in the back of the distance, I don't care. But if they're right here, I can't do that. And I'm really trying to do a lot of floor exercises today. So if the floor's not really free, then I wouldn't really do it. Do you get it? But yeah, I'm going to go to the air shop, get the ponytail. And then I'm going to come home and decide what I'm going to do. I will check the capacity on the gym when I come back home. Because then I'll see if it's full or not. Um, This is my fit I'm wearing today. This is this set that I got a few months ago in Sports Direct. It's this Everlast gym set. I think it's really, really cute. I really like when I've got on gym sets. Like, but That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the hair shop and I'll pick you guys up when I'm in the car. Oh guys update i went to the hair shop and i got my ponytail that i need i like so basically okay wait i like human hair ponytails before someone's like oh you was getting to that girl but i don't wear synthetic hair unless it's braids or ponytails now some pony all right cool Ugh. if i get my ponytail done by someone i'm using human hair because they're gonna wrap it if i'm doing it myself i'm using synthetic hair because i could just clip it and i can't physically see behind my head to really you know really so that's why i get some fake ponytails and obviously when i take care of it it doesn't last but the last one didn't last that long i don't really know why but yeah I did get my ponytail i got a longer one this time i don't really like long ponytails because i feel like they get matted quickly but i know i could take care of this one and i got a 1b one like fully 1b usually i would get 1b mixed with some brown because i think it looks nice but this time i just got 1b so yeah this is the brand i get for ponytails this actually if you know how to look after your hair this one will last you but yeah i got the jazzy drawstring ponytail and you can put heat on it as well which is why i got it because i like to bump the ends of my ponytails i think it just makes it look a bit more realistic and human i think it just looks a bit more realistic and human so i like to bump the ends of it you know so yeah i give it a little straighten and then i just bump the ends and i put curling rods and i leave it this is for saturday because i'm going out on saturday so tonight or when I get back in, I'm going to straighten it a bit, bump the ends from now so that it can be bumped and ready for Saturday. So it gives a nice, 
I always give it a trim as well like I always give the ponytails a little trim just because they come at some awkward type of length so I give it a little trim but yeah this is the ponytail brand that I use I highly recommend it I can't lie and it's quite cheap $12.99 and I got a longer one I don't even know what length this is you don't even say what length this is but usually I get like a 12 to 14 inch that's when I do the nice barbie but this time I just got like I wanted a longer one because I always get a shorter one every time I see a Jaguar I just get ooh because I like Jaguars and you know is that on the to-do list maybe but yeah I really like Jaguars but everyone's like oh Jaguars are uncle car like are you a granddad like but it looks so good to me like wow wow anyways yeah I'm gonna go home now um what's the time it is currently it's still early it's 12 o'clock but you know what it is the post people come at like one and i don't want to miss them because i feel like i've got some actual deliveries coming from romel i really don't want to miss them so i might go home and just chill for a bit edit a little bit and then make my way to the gym i kind of don't feel the gym today though i feel like to just have a long walk that's what i feel like doing i feel like having a long walk maybe going somewhere to edit getting a drink that's how I feel today. I don't feel like working out like some crazy lady in the gym because I did that yesterday and my legs are hurting. But consistency is key. And look, I even just saw some woman jog by. Ciao. These people are drawing me out. Consistency is key, so I might just go to the gym. And just go to the gym. But my legs is killing me. Like, if I go... Do you know what it is? It's a mental thing. If I go, now I'm not going to work as hard because mentally I didn't really want to come. But the thing is, sometimes all you, all you need to do is give yourself that push. Like, when you give yourself that push and just go to the gym... When you get there, you work out. But when I, I've noticed that when I record and I've got my camera out working out, it ain't a good workout. That's what I've noticed, so I don't know. <sighs> Ciao. Let me check how much people was in the gym. That'd be my excuse. That'd be my excuse. I'd be like, oh, there's too much people in the gym. There's too much people. Oh, there's 58 people. So there's eight people more than what was there earlier. Hmm. I kind of feel like having a walk, though, like... I guess I'll see when I get home. But anyways, I'm going to tune you guys a little bit later and we'll see what I'm up to the next time I pick up the camera. Okay guys, so I'm back home and it is lunchtime and I'm just going to make a quick meal because I was going to go to the gym but my stomach, the only thing I had for breakfast was juice. <laughs> and my stomach's hurting so I'm feeling kind of hungry. So I'm going to make some lunch. And speaking of lunch, today's video is sponsored by Hello. Fresh. So this is my Hello Fresh parcel. I've got three meals. I'm gonna share with you guys quickly what three meals that I chose. This channel we have touched upon Hello Fresh before, so I'm gonna just run through the same stuff that you guys knew already. First of all, here is my discount code if you want to shop Hello Fresh and get some money off your first few boxes. Listen, let me just say that Hello Fresh has made life just a little bit more easier for me. Like, like I've said before, the fact that you can have meals sent to your door and all you gotta do is cook them in like 20, 30 minutes is very, very easy. I don't have to worry about what to cook today what to eat today meals have already been selected and sent to me all i have to do is prepare it that is so easy today i'm actually feeling a bit of like a stir fry or a pasta so let me actually tell you guys the three meals that i chose for this box today i chose a sticky honey beef rice bowl this is what it looks like i think this looks really nice it's literally just white rice with some sticky honey beef on top oh i think this looks really really good i can't wait to eat that one i think should i make that today i'm not really feeling rice today i'm kind of feeling like pasta I also chose the sweet and sticky Korean style chicken stir fry. Someone told me, oh, you really like Korean food. Yes, I really like Korean food. Wasn't a fan of Korean food before, but I really, really like Korean food now. And the last dish that I chose was the roasted salmon and creamy pesto sauce. This looks good. And the broccoli. Oh, guys, I love broccoli. I love broccoli. Please tell me that doesn't look good. Look at the salmon, the creamy pesto sauce, the potatoes. Oh, my gosh. This looks really good. But which one do I want to make today? I really want, I don't know, the rice bowl. The rice bowl, sticky honey beef rice bowl, takes 20 minutes to make. All of my meals here is 20 minutes to make. Obviously, you can get dishes that are quick. So I opt for quick dishes because I think they make more sense. I feel like as a young person, I like things that are quick and easy, okay? And I like the fact that they send me the recipe and how to make it as well because I'm not going on Google looking for how to make the meal. 
okay i'm not doing that anyways yeah i literally have everything in this box things that need to be chilled are in chilled bags and the things that need to be in the fridge are in the fridge bag so that makes everything so much easier but yes i want to thank you hello fresh for sponsoring today's video if you would like some percentage of your box please use my discount code here and it will be in the description box below with the rest of the information every meal i actually got will be in the description bar below just in case you want to give it a try anyways i'm feeling hungry let's get into cooking i'm gonna make this very quick and very simple just very easy enjoy this montage of me cooking my meal off a little i dozed off a little it's even a little later i was editing and then i finished editing and then my ipad was gonna die so i plugged it in and i watched something and then i was like you know what let me lay down and that let me lay down turned into like two hours of napping so here we are hours later i'm, I'm about to go and collect some food from st foodies this vlog is just about food isn't it but yeah i'm about to go and collect some food from st foodies she was doing the little place that i was saying so you guys might see on the vlog um i got one for my mom and one for me so yeah oh so, yeah not me had on gym clothes all day and didn't go to the gym am i gonna go to the gym no like i'm not gonna go to the gym now like now it's so dumb like now it's after hours everybody and their work buddies in the gym like yeah look i just checked it's literally 73 people in my gym like no but that's not that's still not a lot because if it's 45 percent capacity that's still not a lot obviously someone was like to me as well how do i check basically you download the app for your gym and you're able to check how much people's in there i don't think everyone has the app for the gym i think they just know their code but yeah this is how i know i go on the app and it would say 73 so that's how i know how much people's in my gym but when i press percentage it says 45 which is not really a lot like if it was like 85 oh my god one time i went to my gym at, it was like 87 i said 87 percent that's a lot like i said no what day was it? i think it was a bank holiday i said no didn't go i could still go should i go should i go work out come home eat sounds like an idea to me i might do that i might do that i might go pick up the food come back come back go work out come home and eat like that that would fi finalize my night i think that makes the most i might do that i might do that because because i said i was gonna go to the gym today in the beginning of this vlog i'm gonna 
go to the gym today and I'm going to take my camera. For, forget what people think. Forget who's staring at me. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take my camera. It's so awkward. Like, you guys don't understand. It's so awkward. And especially after hours, like, at, at 6, 7, 8 o'clock, it's bare people that was at work. And they're just trying to work out. They're not trying to be seen on no one's corner of their camera. I'm not going to do a hardcore workout. I'm not going to go near the weights. I'm just going to go on a treadmill. I'm going to do floor workouts. Mainly floor workouts because I'm not going to lie. For me, floor workouts help me so much more than them weights and stuff. But obviously, you have to combine everything if you want a result. But I've just noticed that when I do a lot more floor workouts and all of these on the floor, you guys will see they just work out a lot better. But yeah, I'm going to put on my little shoes and get ready and go pick up the food. And then when I come back, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to the gym today. Yeah. I don't need to act like there's lurgies in the gym. Like, I'm going to go to the gym. It's lonely, I just talk. Lonely, lonely, lonely. Money on my mind. Love. I love. I love. I love. So, guys, I came to collect my food. Let me turn the music down before I get copyrighted. I came to collect my food. Shanice has gone in to get it. I'm excited to eat, child. This is my fit today. Really basic to go to the gym. Ain't nothing. This is that set that I got from Stupid Drug. A super drug? Why do I keep saying super drug? Sports Direct. This is the set that I got from Sports Direct. I remember. Don't know if you guys remember, but I do. I saw it and I was like, ooh. But then I was like, Everlast. Like, I don't really like wear Everlast. So yeah, I looked at it twice. I was like, well, I don't, do I want to wear this today? But I was like, why not? Because I've never worn it. It's very humid. It's very, very humid. I don't, I don't like the humidness. It's very, very humid. Oh, am I gonna go do? <laughs> I keep saying, am I gonna go? Am I gonna go? Like, it's so humid. I don't know if I wanna go to the gym now. Like, ew. Who wants to work out in weather like this? Like, this is the weather you're in the park with your wine and your food. Like, this does not give. Go to the gym and slave behind the machine or slave on the floor doing a workout. It never gave. I'm gonna still go because I said I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, but yeah, this is how I'm looking today. Definitely very weather appropriate. Definitely weather appropriate. I'm getting slimmer in the face, just a just a tad, just a tad. I really hate that my car does not have Bluetooth music because to listen to music, ooh, so much flies. To listen to music, I have to physically plug in my phone, plug out my phone. I really don't like that. I really, really, really don't like that. Like. Every song and every reggae station Black girl, white girl, every nation To me in a corporation In a dimension in disguise Oh, it's humid! What, what the hell? My final destination Oh, I love this. I really love this braided wig, like It looks good, like It actually looks like boxes Because I've seen some braided wigs, here yeah, That is literally like hooked 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 and over here will be a net and then when you get back here it's just black like just black like bush but i feel like with this one is actually like little square boxes which is good so the link will be in the description bar if you want to shop if you want to shop the wig the link will be in the description bar below because i'm not sending you guys nothing bad i'm giving you guys something good <laughs> hi guys okay so we got some jerk sauce can't wait to eat you don't understand <laughs> like floor i should have come from yesterday <laughs> some j rice in here oh thank you yeah thank i you. do extra i got thank a bit of everything you. so i'm gonna show you the top one Ooh. Mm. So, so inside we have we've got some mac and cheese barbecue wings sweet chili wings fried wings jerk chicken oh my fried corns and planting i don't think i went to the gym never mind i ain't going to the gym because i'm supposed to go to the gym i ain't going <laughs> And that's mm. in that one as well. Mm. So I've never tried your fried prawns. Yeah, yeah, no, this is your first time. Ooh. But I know you had the wing. And yeah. you haven't tried the jerk either. No. You didn't get the jerk on it no. no, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. So. Perfect. <laughs> Too much. Haven't done my taxes. I'm too turned up. 
Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? So So the other day when I was in the gym, I did these workouts here. Yeah? I don't even want to demonstrate because it's so painful, but I did these workouts. I'm actually going to insert a video of the workout, but I did these here yeah? and my leg is still like, bro, my legs are still hurting me. And to kneel down right now, it really hurt. It really hurt. Like, no, nah, give it, just <laughs> give it a try. And by the way, I did four sets of 20 or did I do five? I think I did what did I do? I think I did five sets of 20. So 20, five times. Okay. Like my legs is done. Like every time I bend, sit, I'm like, ooh, this is painful. Like really painful. Anyways, I'm going to do another workout. I'm just going to work on upper body because that's really what I work on. I feel like it's making a difference. I feel like my arms are a little bit skinnier. Maybe I'm just the Lulu because, you know, it's easy to get the Lulu. But yeah, I'm just going to work on my arms, which is just this this and this i believe yeah and all i have to do is literally just be like this and do that i, I could stand up if i wanted to but i'm not gonna stand up so yeah let's get started <laughs> So I am back home from the gym. Good. I am back home from the gym. Girl, I'm tired. I'm always tired, but I'm tired today. I can't wait to eat my food. <laughs> I'm sure that was my motivation in the gym today. I can't wait to eat and I'm gonna watch some Jocelyn's Cabaret. I did say that I have cut out watching them shows. I have, but I just really wanted to see the new season. So yeah, I'm on episode four. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat, watch Jocelyn's Cabaret, have a shower, do my nighttime skincare routine. I need to show you guys the earrings that I got from Shein. I need to start that ponytail. Obviously, there's nothing really to do with the ponytail. It's just straighten it and bump it, but I wanna do it so that I can leave it to like set till Saturday so it's like ready. I said I was gonna try my fit for Saturday. I ain't gonna do that, I ain't gonna lie. But I will show you what I'm thinking to wear to Janelle's B day. Um, so yeah, it's literally just a black jumpsuit from Fashion Nova that I haven't shown you yet, and then some silver heels and a silver bag. But yes, 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 girl. Um, I also got a Timu delivery, so I'm gonna do a Timu haul, but I think it'll make sense to be in my next vlog because this one's like already a bit lengthy. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got in my Timu haul tomorrow, maybe in my next I don't know. In my next vlog, you guys will see it's quite big. So we'll see what Timu finds I found. Oh, anyways. I'm gonna pick you guys up a little bit later once I freshened up, ate my dinner, I'll be back. Okay guys, so it's a lot later. The skin is skinning. Uh, that's what we like to see. Oh, I got a little, oh, see why do I have to go close to the camera? Cause now you see I got dark marks. But anyway, <laughs> anyways, hello. A little bit later, I wanted to show you guys these little Sheen earrings I got. Sheen is really good for custom jewelry. Like I got these to travel with, but I just wanted to give you guys a little run through of these because these are so pretty. I think I will try them on, but I'll try on that one earring at a time so you guys can see. These are so cute. Like, I got looks for all of them. Anyways, up first is this gold earring. This is nice. I really like that it makes a sound like, like when I twist, I want you to hear the... I don't know. That's just me. So this is the earring. I think this is nice. This really gives me gala. I don't know if that's just me, but this kind of gives me gala. This kind of gives me evening dinner. It's kind of heavy because I didn't actually put the butterfly on the back and it's kind of drooping, but this is nice. This gives me evening wear. I really like this. I think it's cute. I'm trying to run through all the earrings really quickly. These are a pair of black earrings. Now, I'm not a fan of black earrings because I feel like you just can't see them on me. I feel like the only way I wear black earrings is if I got my hair out my face or behind my ears. Black earrings is not something that stands out on me, but I really like them and they'll look really nice with a full black outfit or even an outfit that's like black and white, like monochrome. That'll look really, really nice. These are some butterfly earrings that I got for vacation. These are cute. I kind of like them, but I kind of don't like them. Like, the more I'm saying it, I'm like, ew, what the hell is on your ears? But then, when you wear them with, like, a proper nice girly outfit, these will be such a good addition. Like, these are so pretty to me. Especially with, like, a gold necklace or, like, a gold bracelet. These are so nice. And up close, this is what it's looking like. These are so cute. I, I like these. These are not my favourites, though. Let me... I'll wait, I'll wait to show you guys my favourites of today. 
these leaf kind of earrings are really cute as well i really like these these are nice and then obviously it's got the upp opposite side that like these are nice I, these might be a new fave i like these i feel like i have a pair quite similar to these these are so cute these are so cute i really like these and they're quite heavy as well i hate when earrings just feel too light and plastic these are nice i really like these ones i feel like i like all the earrings that come like i always pick ones that i actually like i've never received an earring i'm like ew what the hell i like all of them this is another earring i plan to wear this with blue and green obviously i did buy this dress from fashion nova right it does not fit me i'm gonna have to send it back or just i don't know throw it in the bin or something but i wanted to wear this with this green dress it would look so nice but the green dress doesn't fit so either i'm gonna find a replacement green and blue outfit or just save these for another occasion but these are really nice it has like an iridescent look inside as well because not only is it like dark blue and green it has like these these little coloured AB crystal type of... I don't know, they got a little something, something when you look at them up close. But yeah, these are these are probably my favourites. I don't know what it is about these. I just really, really like these. These are so nice. Like, so girly. And then lastly, I got these little sunflower earrings. I've never bought any type of earring like this in my life. Like, And I bought these because I have an outfit that kind of gives like summer vibes. And it's perfect for vacation. But like, again, like, you know, when you look at it again, you're like, ew, what is this? What is this, honey? Like, when I look at it, I'm, actually, no, that's not too bad. Like, if you wear it with the right outfit, this earring is not bad at all. These are cute. But obviously, when I'm looking at it, it gives, like, English teacher, like, this is something my old English teacher would wear. Like, with, like, polka dots and stuff. Like, that's what it gives. But I do think they are cute. I don't think they're ugly but i definitely have to wear them with something nice for it to like really make sense but as i'm looking at it now it doesn't look that bad i think it's all right anyways that's it for my little shein pickup on earrings i really believe that shein's got the best costume jewelry like there's earrings to match every outfit and lately not even lately but since last year i've been making sure i have the earrings to match my looks like there's no more wear for me me personally there's no more wearing studs and small earrings with outfits like make your look stand out wear some big earrings it really makes your face when you first wear them you're probably like ew this is too much like because when i first wore big earrings i was like ew but now i have to have big earrings when i look like especially if I, especially if i'm doing a casual look i need the earrings to give Ooh, do you get it like ooh? but um obviously it depends on what you're really wearing but yeah i really like all these earrings these are mainly for vacation but some of them can definitely be worn here as well anyways i'm gonna show you guys my little fit that i'm wearing on saturday i'm not gonna try it on because i just can't bother it, but i will insert pictures of the jumpsuit and how it's supposed to look on the model and the shoes how it's supposed to look on the model so this is the jumpsuit that i picked up from fashion nova in a size medium this, yeah, it has like a cutout on the breast area. Now, when I saw them, when I was like, ooh, I did try this on, but I just wasn't filming when I tried it on. My boobs kind of poke out a bit too much. Like, I'm going to have to use double-sided tape. I have double-sided tape and boob tape. I don't need boob tape because I got, the way I got, the way I got my boobs done, I don't actually need boob tape when I wear stuff. However, I do need double-sided tape to stick on my breast and then stick on this as well so it doesn't budge. And I probably have to wear nipple covers because I did have a few slips when I was trying it on. So imagine when I go out. Mm -mm -mm. but i remember i wore this long gala dress and my, i didn't have a nip slip that whole night like i didn't have a nip slip only when the night was done and the double-sided tape started to get moist because i was sweating that's the only time i had a nip slip and that was when i got to the lounge which was when the main event was done this is the dress i'm talking about for reference i didn't have a nip slip i had double-sided tape but obviously when i got sweaty it started to budge but it didn't budge fully but it budged but yeah this is the jumpsuit from fashion nova it's super long it's super stretchy i got it in a size medium and this is called the give me some give me some more jumpsuit this is what the tag looks like and i'm wearing it in a size medium i'm not gonna lie to you i could have got a small some things i could get smalls in and i could have got a small in this only because it is long like there's a little bit of a cuff at the end so in order to get rid of that cuff i'm gonna have to pull the jumpsuit up fully so that the crease is more on my thighs rather than the bottom of my feet but yeah i plan to wear this with some silver heels and a silver bag i originally wanted to wear gold i really wanted to wear gold but i said you know let me wear silver because i've been wearing gold recently so let me wear it with silver. These are the silver shoes that I picked up from PLT. Yo, these are comfortable. I wore these around my house because when I, whenever I get any pair of heels, I wear them around my house just to make sure. Like I, I strap them in properly 
both feet and I wear them around my house for at least 30 to 40 minutes so I know what type of heel this is. To me anything kickstand is always going to be a comfortable heel because it just made sense but these are very very comfortable I recommend. If you're looking for a silver strappy heel these heels from PLT I will leave them linked down below. I really love the DL in here as well because all my toes are in and it's not them heels where your toes are literally coming out of the heel wanting to touch the ground because I really hate when it happens like why is my toes all the way here like no these are, these little things are so secure it keeps your feet in but yeah these are really comfortable I can't wait to wear these I can't wait for you guys to see the full outfit anyways on Saturday I am doing a TikTok on a get ready with me haven't done one in ages but we're going to get back to it so I'm going to do that and I am going to take a picture as well so we will see the full outcome and I'm also pairing it with this silver clutch that I've had for a while. I've only worn this twice. I don't really wear it often because it is quite big. I did get a smaller one. Um, I see my sister with this gold one. So I ordered the silver version of the one she got. And it's literally this big. Like, it's small. But I can't find where I put it. I might have just put it under my bed because I put all my bags under there. And I'm not going to lie. I need to stop. Like, I need to... I'm not going to lie. I need to put my bags elsewhere because my good, good bags is getting crushed up under my bed, like, and then I'm having to get rid of them or sell them. So I need to actually put my bags on a display. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm, I think that's what I'm going to do by a display. But it's like, where do I put the display in my room? I kind of wanted to move my bed, you know, I kind of wanted to twist my bed back to the way it was, but I don't know, you know. I'm going to have to have a think because I need a bit more room. The thing is, though, I don't need that much room. I'm not going to lie to you. And if I twist my bed back, then where's my desk post supposed to go? Like, none of this makes sense. Like, if I twist my bed back, it's like, it's, I don't know how it's going to go. But, yeah, back to the bag. Yeah, this clutch is very nice. It's very, very big as well. Like, you can fit so much in here. Like, I'm able to travel with my vlog camera when I have this type of clutch. I think I might order this another colour, especially in pink. Yeah, I'm going to order this another colour. This is from Amazon, I think, or Ali. I can't remember, but literally just type in silver clutch and you'll find it. It looks luxury and it is great quality as well. It's not like a cheap material. Like, it's great quality. Like This is my go-to now. This is my go-to now. But yeah, I'm probably thinking to wear one of these earrings on Saturday. I'm thinking the leaf ones because these ones were super, super cute. But I'm going to have a ponytail, so I might have a bigger earring. I don't know. We'll see because I'm obviously going to be on the vlog, so you guys will see in the next vlog. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Right now, I'm about to do the ponytail. So there's not really much to do to the ponytail, honestly. Because the ponytail's already straight, the only thing I need to do is give it a little brush and then bump the ends. Well, I'm going to trim the ends and then bump it just to leave it bumped until Saturday so it can be fully bumped but i'm definitely going to give it a little trim let me take it out of the packaging i actually put on the straightener already so the straightener's on this doesn't even need straightening but i just like to give it just a little just like so a test how straight it is i i kind of regret getting a long ponytail you know because when the ponytail's super long you kind of tell it's synthetic but i only plan on wearing it for two days anyways so yeah and not gonna lie when i have a synthetic pony i usually kind of spray a lot of got to be so it doesn't move too much because I feel like when the pony moves too much here yeah, and it starts to look like this, you can see it's like it's infected. Like it starts to look like like back brush. Like that just looks so infected to me. But I feel like when you straighten it a bit, give it a bump. Oh, my camera's going to die. Wait, when you straighten it, don't die yet. When you straighten it a bit, give it a little bump and like spray it with like setting spray. Not setting spray got to be your hairspray and keep the flyaways in and just let it look stiff i feel like it looks better that's just my opinion that's when it's in fact though not when it's it's moving that mm -mm. only when it's in fact i'm actually gonna take my time and bump this pony properly because i'm not gonna lie i had this pony already the first time i got it it lasted me like two weeks it was so perfect and i feel like i should have got a shorter length should have listened to myself and got a shorter length like oh. anyway and i can't even cut it too much because it'll be too blunt anyways the last time i had it well, the first time I had it, it was perfect. Like, it lasted so long. And then this, just the other time when I got it, this did not last. Like, oh, my God. After, like, two days, I was like, ugh. Like, ugh. It gave, it gave, it gave nine ninety nine. Like, I wasn't fooling anybody. Oh, obviously, if someone asks me, I'll tell them, like, I'm telling you guys. Like, I don't care. Because I'm not buying no human hair and I'm doing it myself. Because I really can't see to, like, wrap, wrap wrap obviously i'm gonna start doing ponytails but if i'm doing it someone said i can see what i'm doing but when i'm doing it myself i can't see to wrap it that's why i prefer to get clip-ons but yeah this is the pony it's looking so shiny as well like one thing about synthetics they always look so shiny like doing too much like no i'm gonna do this one properly i'm gonna give it a little straight and properly give it a little trim 
properly. I'm probably going to trim all of this. Oh, usually I get this length and bump it. I've got all of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this much and then bump it there. Let's see. But yeah, the straighteners on. The straighteners I'm using today are the... Which one is this? I really have like three straighteners. This is the Babyliss. It doesn't say which one, but it's just the Babyliss straighteners. They're not that wide. Obviously, I've got a super wide plate and then I've got these. I actually bought another pair of straighteners, actually. I bought the Nano Titanium ones. They are blue and silver. Um, those is for Cause Beauty Studio. That's not for my house. These are staying at home and then those are going to my studio. But yeah, so I'm going to give this a little run through. I'm going to bump it. You're not going to see the end product on this vlog because it's just going to be in the curlers. Um, the roller, sorry. We'll see the end look on Saturday because I'm actually going to do my ponytail on camera, I think. So yeah, that's it for today's vlog, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm tired from the gym. Happy I'm back in the gym. Happy I'm back on routine. I ate my dinner before 9 p.m. My room is tidy. I'm planning outfits. I'm editing content. I'm finishing collaborations. Like, I'm happy. I'm content right now. I just need to wake up earlier. I'm really content. I just need to wake up earlier. And I need to get on a schedule. That's what I need to do. But I'm quite happy and I'm content. And thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, I love you. Leave a comment down below. I need to, I need to make something where you guys leave like a, a, a certain emoji if you got this far. I don't know. Leave a red heart and a star if you got this far. Okay? I think that's fair. Anyways, see you guys in my next vlog. I love you. Good night. Mwah.